What chess player has mostly influenced your chess career and why? This is a very difficult question. I am saying many times I don't have just one role model. I admire people for different skills. And this is definitely all world champions. And especially like I am a mother, have two kids and uh, some uh, chess players, women who combine uh, chess, their chess career and still playing uh, like competitive chess. This is uh, Pia Kramlin, who is still very strong in her age and uh, Monika Sochko, who had like three kids and managing like her chess career. And Another is uh, Ketivan Arahamia, who became a GM in very like late age, like for, uh, around 40, I think she, she became a GM. Um, you know, I studied games from a lot of good players and I definitely did spend time on games collections, you know, from the world champions. And I feel like probably someone like Botvinnik um, and his games collection and, you know, just learning a lot of concepts from him. Um, opening things, you know, strategic things, I would say probably, probably him. It's where I got my appreciation for Big Center and Bishop Hare. When I was a little kid, um, starting from Alyokhin, I think, to Kasparov, Karpok, then no Kramnik, and, and all of them <laughs> during this time they were very popular. I think it was Anatoly Karpov. I really like to check his games with my coach when I was young. So probably, yeah, probably it's just Karpov. I'm a big fan of Anatoly Karpov and also Judith Polga. So from my anger days, I used to follow their games and um, uh, their play has inspired me a lot. Capablanca and Alokhin was the uh, ones that I really loved their games and their style. Uh, casually was looking at their games to learn how to play chess, and so and I would call their names. I think um, Vladimir Kramnik, uh, during my childhood days, I used to see a lot of his games, and I think somewhere I really liked his style. Uh, and uh, maybe not game-wise, but Judith Polgar has a lot of influence on me as a women player to be uh, doing well in the men, uh, to, to beat the strong men and like to be there. So definitely these two, I think, are have influenced me a lot. I was a fan of Bobby Fischer's games when I was young. Uh, also, Mikhail Tal was my favorite chess player. So I guess they influenced on my uh, style of play. Well, honestly speaking, my dad is a grandmaster and he used to be professional like when I was very young. So he had the deepest impact on me um, from everybody because he taught me and my brother at the early age um, how to play. And of course, he went with us to tournaments and he had been my teacher up till 16 before I actually met other trainers. Oh, I wish I wish I had such a player, you know, such an influencer, mentor in a way, because um, uh, when I was growing up, I wasn't really excited about chess lines and uh, like um, moves and champions in a way. I was excited uh, about the psychological part of uh, a battle, and uh, I was uh, I liked uh, uh, to read chess books. I mean, from chess champions, but not about chess moves or openings or middle games, nothing about that, but rather about psychological preparation and about how games like uh, went and how they prepared and what went wrong if they lost. So I didn't have a chess mentor in a way. And I feel that I'm lacking this like information right now because uh, definitely like your youngest years are the best. Uh, in order to consume and uh, be able to learn certain uh, material. Uh, but of course, it's never too late with the chess book. And what I'm trying to do right now is um, to learn from those great chess champions and their games because, well, you need to know history in order not to make the same mistake in your own games.